Okay, so we are going to solve literal equations. Literal equations are going to be very helpful, especially in science. Um, when you are given a formula with several variables in there and you need to specifically solve for one of them. So here's an example. Area equals one half base times height. So that is the formula for the area of a triangle. So if I want to solve for B, So that means I'm trying to get B all by itself. The first thing I notice here is I see this fraction. How do I get rid of the fraction? Well, I can multiply both sides by the reciprocal. And I'm left with 2A equals, twos are going to cancel, leaves me BH. Still solving for the B. If you are confused on what to do, think about if, the H was an 8. Okay, you would have to divide both sides by 8. Well, we don't have an 8. We have an H. So we're going to divide both sides by H instead. So 2A over H equals B. <clears throat> um, let's do... Circumference equals 2 pi r. And I want to solve for r. So if the pi was another number, it's still multiplying by the r. So the 2 and the pi are doing the exact same thing to the variable of r. So they are multiplying, so I can divide both at the same time and get rid of them. 2's cancel, pi's cancel. So you are left with that. Okay, let's do x plus y all over 3 equals 5. And let's solve for y. Okay, so we're trying to get y all by itself. If you go back to the good guys, bad guys, and friends, you cannot move the x because it is linked by the division bar. So we need to get rid of this fraction first. Multiply both sides by 3. You're left with x plus y equals 15. Remember, we are solving for y. So we are going to subtract x on both sides and have y equals. If you have 15 minus x, that is fine. When we get into graphing linear equations, you are probably going to want that term with the x first. Notice the x was negative. It is still negative. 15 is positive, the 15 is still positive. So I just changed the order, I did not change the values. So let's do three x plus four y equals 10. When you get into solving and graphing linear equations, this is called standard form because the x and the y are on the same side. So typically we would solve for y. So let's go ahead and do that. You need to get rid of the 3x. And if you don't know what to do, change the 3x maybe to a 5. So if the 3x were a number, wouldn't you subtract 5? Well, we don't have a 5, we have a 3x, so we are going to subtract 3x. So just because we are now de dealing with more variables does not mean that the rules change. Those add out. 
4y equals, I'm going to follow what I did on the last one and write the um, variable first, the x first. So negative 3x plus 10. Divide both sides by 4. And typically, when we get into um, linear equations, you will see it written twice. I'm going to go ahead and do that one again here in a minute. So negative 3 fourths x plus 5 halves always reduce your fractions. So if you notice from what we have done in the past, I'm going to go back to this step. We divide both sides by 4. Typically we have shown it like that. And honestly, on this test, if you get it that far, I'll be one happy camper. If you remember to split it and then reduce, that's even better. 